Thank you. Um, thank you very much, WLP and SAIS, um, for giving me this opportunity to share um, the work that my group, um, Sisters in Islam, does. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an example that I want to share of a feminist group, a women's group, that's basically decided to take the bull by its horn and really engage with religion in the public sphere and creating a public voice and a public space um, you know, for women to speak on religion um, um, you know, and the impact of religion and religious laws on, on women's lives and women's rights. Um, so I am a believing Muslim and I'm a feminist and I absolutely do not belly ache over those identities. I have absolutely no problem with identifying myself as a Muslim and as a feminist. But of course, in the context in which we live today, there are many who say that you cannot be a Muslim and be a feminist. That's, that's an oxymoron. Um, in Malaysia, my group, um, Sisters in Islam, you know, has been at the forefront um, in creating a public space and a public voice for Muslim women to engage critically and influence and to influence the public discourse on matters of religion and their effects on women's rights and human rights. Um, based on you know, our research on contentious issues yeah, within the community, such as the issue of polygamy, of domestic violence, of women as leaders, women as guardians, women's right to equality and justice, freedom of religion, freedom of expression, we, we, we create the space, we write letters to the editor, we issue press statements, we hold press conference, we conduct campaigns with other women's groups for an end to the use of Islam to justify discrimination against women. We challenge those who claim to have monopoly and authority over matters of religion with a competing vision of Islam, an Islam that is just and compassionate grounded in contemporary ideals of human rights and gender justice and the realities of women's lives today in the 21st century. And we do this, and strategically we decided to do this in a very loud and a very public manner because we don't believe that the kind of change that we want to see in this world is possible by whispering like good Asian women to just whisper in the right ears of powerful men. <laughs> we need to build public outrage at the injustices committed in the name of Islam, at the defense of patriarchal rulings as God's law, as the authentic Islamic way of life. We need to raise public awareness on, diver on the diversity of interpretations and juristic rulings in Islam, and build a public constituency to support a vision of Islam that upholds the principles of equality, justice, freedom, and dignity within a democratic state, not an Islamic state. Of course, this is high-risk business. Like other Muslim women who demand for equality and justice and demand for reform of discriminatory laws and practices, we are told this is God's law and therefore not open to negotiation and change. To question, challenge, or demand reform will supposedly go, go against Sharia, weaken our faith in God and lead us astray from the straight path. So we're often accused of being westernized elites, anti-God, anti-Islam, anti-Sharia, anti-everything. We know women who have deviated from our faith. And reports are made against us to the police, to the religious authorities, to take action against us, to silence us, to charge us for insulting Islam, and to ban our groups. In fact, the first few months of this year, I was telling some of my friends here, it was very hard for us, for sisters in Islam, as over 60 police reports were made against us all over the country. And this was a strategy. I mean, this is a political struggle. This is not about religion yeah, and faith. Um, you know, because of the position that we took, very public position that we took to challenge the decision of a Sharia court to sentence a young woman to six lashes of the, of the cane for drinking a glass of beer. Um, well, these reports, you know, and charges against us are, of course, very distracting to the work that we want to focus on, we actually regard every attack against us as an opportunity to get our voice heard and expand the public space for debate on the role of religion yeah, in our lives. 
In this light, we also decided to take the government to court last year for banning our book. We had written a book uh, as a collection of conference um, papers on the impact of Islamic extremism on women's rights. Um, you know, on the grounds, you know, that the, the government, the religious authorities of the government had ba banned the book on the grounds that it was a threat to public order. That the, the, the thinking in that book that promotes equality and justice uh, uh, un-Islamic and therefore pose a threat and confuse the Muslims and therefore pose a threat to public order. Um, we were very happy. We had a very good judge. Um, and, um, and this year, the judgment came and, and the judge overturned the government's decision to ban the book and said that the government could not prove our book posed a threat to public order, especially when the book had actually been in circulation for two years and nothing untoward had happened. <laughs> so where is the evidence of the threat to public order? Um, the government is appealing um, against that judgment, um, and, um, and um, the date has not been set. We also have another um, case against us by a group, Muslim youth group. Um, they call the mosque, um, the, Mus um, the Assembly of Muslim Mosque Youth. Um, and they want us to drop the word Islam from our name. You know, again, um, the argument is that we're confusing the ummah um, the community of Muslims um, by these, you know, deviant ideas, um, alien ideas um, of Islam. And um, our lawyers are, the case will be heard soon, the case management date has been set and our lawyers are going to argue that, you know, the case be dropped, you know, as Islam does not belong to any particular group, are exclusive to a particular group of Muslims. So this open contestation within the public space is an important strategy that we've decided to take on to raise public awareness on the diversity and differences of opinion within Islam and freedom of expression, um, you know, to, to, and, 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 and to test any claims in the name of Islam against the rule of law and constitutional principles of fundamental liberties.